Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm out today, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the K and F concept variable MD filter which is combined, this is the, the, the beautiful part which is combined with a CBL filter. So as you can see this is the filter that I want to talk about today, I want to show you the sample photo, I want to, to, to give you all the information you may need if you are thinking about this filter. This filter is uh, variable ND filter from 2 to 32 which means from 1 stop to 5 stop ND filter and the beautiful part about this filter is, is that it's combined with a CBL filter which is brilliant for any uh, landscape photographer actually or any film maker because as you know if you want to, to make videos and there's sunlight or the, the, it's so bright and you want to have your 30 frame or you want to have your 24 frame that's why you will need an ND filter and at the same time you need a CBL filter to remove all the reflection that you don't want to be visible in your video. So as you know actually talking about ND filter and using ND filter in photography the first thing that comes to your mind is long exposure photography. For me as landscape photographer when I want to talk about ND filter the first thing is obviously long exposure photography. If you are a filmmaker for example if you are a videographer then you will need the uh, uh, ND filter one stop to, to five stop ND filter combined with the CBL filter this is very good for making video actually because you want to take uh, away the reflections from your video and at the same time you need the ND filter because you have to stay at 24 frame for example or 30 frame so the, this, this is very important to have an ND filter combined with CBL filter together. So let's go back to me and to landscape photography. As I said, long exposure photography, ND filter is long exposure photography. And that's why I am today in this beautiful lake. This is not the first time actually, I think some of you remember this spot. And I, I was talking about this print, which is in my uh, small YouTube corner at home. And I made a video here actually. I was with my friend Sebastian and we made a video here we made a very beautiful photo but the, the condition the conditions today are completely different as we were here the last time there was a very fantastic sunrise but today it's so heavily yeah so heavily cloudy overcast and with a little bit of mist you can find a little bit of mist there and it's so dark actually I, I'm and I want I want to try to take this photo again in a very completely different condition to say, uh, to say, to see, to see what, yeah, to see what I can have. But I, I think, I think I will like that photo more with the glowing sun, you know. But, yeah, I will try to take a long exposure photography here. I think my fault actually today is that I have a very normal shoes and I, I, I can't, I can't step inside the water. As you can see, I can't, uh, unfortunately, I can't step inside the water. I will try to take the photo right here or above this small bridge. So as you can see, I am putting my Sigma 10 20 mm and I will try, as I said, I will try to to put my tripod right here. This is the, the, the last, actually is the last point that I can use. I think I will try more than one composition. I will try to include this small bath which is disappearing inside the water. I think it will be more visible using CBL filter. And this is a horizontal uh, composition. At the same time, I will try a vertical composition like that. The problem that I'm having today, as I said, there's no information at all. There's no form in the cloud. It's so, so boring that the sky is so boring. And that's why I will try to not include a lot of the space. I will try to, to make the dominant space or two thirds of the space only for the foreground, the lake and the boat and only third of the photo to the sky because there's nothing, only white space. This is the first composition that I'm trying actually. I was saying that I want to take the photo from there but I found that this one is more beautiful. As I think from the back screen of my camera, it works so 
so nicely. As I said, only uh, the up third of the photo it was for the sky and two thirds of the photo for the foreground. I will not try to make any focus tag, it will be it will, it will need a lot of work actually. As you can see, I'm not so close to the boat, so I think I think this one will be good. Only focusing on this area, as you can see, something about in the middle of the boat, I will focus there and let's see how it will be. So as you can see, this is the filter and it comes with a cleaning cloth and uh, this is the filter itself. As you can see, any variable in the filter, it has actually, it has to have this small hand in order to be able to adjust the ND filter, as you can see, from max to minimum. And at the same time, because this is, as I said, combined with a CBL filter, that's why you are able also to adjust the CBL filter like that. So this is another photo I'm trying to take here and as you can see I'm taking it horizontally this time and I took the first photo without any filter and let me show you the composition I was trying to show a little bit of this path right here which is disappearing in, inside the water and at the same time the foreground here a little bit and the boat itself So at the end, thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope I could make it helpful for you. I, I hope I could uh, give you all the information that you may need about this variable ND filter, which is combined with the CPL filter, which is, as I said, it's so helpful for me actually. And it's not the best, the best condition, you know, for, for making landscape photography or seascape. There's no, <laughs> there's no sun at all. It's so boring. And, but I, I, I made my best. I hope I could, uh, as I said, give you all the information that you want i hope uh, you like the the sample actually that i made today and thanks again for watching uh, please consider subscribing if you are not already and thanks a lot for the k and f concept for sending me this filter see you next time Bye.